Good morning, everybody. Sorry it's been so long since I last was on. Um, had some family things to get taken care of and couldn't be home on the, on the, on Sundays to, to do the recording. Um, so, well, I'm home today. And let's see, I finished the sleeves, finally, last weekend. So now I ha all I have left, I even weaved in all the ends at this point. Um, so what I got left to do is pick up the stitches for the hood and then knit up the hood and weave in those ends and be done. And I can get this to the person I'm making it for. So um, I think the best way to show it, because, well, you can only see so much at a time to show so far what it looks like um, this way. So what I'm going to do is show it through my browser because I posted pictures there. So this is what it looks like now. So you got the ribbing around the waist from the elbows down, then it's just plain, but a little poofiness in the arms, and then now there will be a hood in the back, like this hood here. So this is, this is the first initial knit where I created the pattern, and then the green one is me test knitting my pattern so I can get it out there on Ravelry in case anybody else wants to make one. I like the style. I think it's nice because it's it's loose up here where you want it to be and then it's snug here in the sleeves, you know, elbow down and in your waist to kind of accentuate, if that's the right word, um, you know, to go in at the waist but yet be loose fitting to you know, make you feel like you have more of a bust unless you already have more of a bust unlike me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, oh hi Kata, long time no talk. I haven't been on in a while, so I apologize. Uh, lots of family stuff going on right now, so had to go do trips to my parents and stuff, and their Wi-Fi isn't the greatest, so I really couldn't do much of it there. So, um, I'm hoping the next few weekends I should be able to be online. How is your, uh, you were working on a sweater or cardigan for father, I think, for somebody. Um, how's that going? I'm trying to remember now. Same here, just so much going on. Yep, I, I, I understand. This, this year has just been boom, 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 all, all year long. So, yeah completely understand with that. So I'm at the final stage though. I just got to do the hood. I got to pick up stitches. Now I had um, some eye surgery on Thursday and I have a protective contact on my one eye so hopefully I can see the stitches <laughs> and pick them up properly today. We will see. Um, let's see. Just take this out. Well, that can actually stay. I'm not using that, so. Okay. Yeah, almost, almost. And then uh, I think I'm going to make a, uh, what do they call those, poofs? Those big, kind of like a beanbag, but a little bit more firmer for like a footstool by your couch that you could sit on or whatever on the floor, big cushion. I was thinking of crocheting or knitting a cover for one of those. I have an old couch cushions that are basically just huge pillows that I was thinking I could use those to stuff into it. Um, make a couple of those. I think that's what I'm going to do next. Before I start picking up these stitches though, um, I'll show where I'm at on my shawl. I don't think you've seen this. I started this a while ago too. It's um, using mandala. Here. You know what? You guys aren't even seeing what I'm showing you. Okay. Let me switch this. 
My bad. There we go. So I'm using this mandala. It's a Pegasus uh, colorway. And I was just crocheting a, a quick shawl. Um, I love the, how the colors are coming through. I can't wait till the next ones so to get the darker purple and then like the turquoise. Maybe a light blue to white and then back to the creamsicles. It's just so pretty. So I'm just going to keep knit, keep knitting. Hello, this is crochet. Keep crocheting all the way till I finish the skein. So I'm working on that. It's a four row repeat. It's really simple. Yeah, I thought so too. It's so pretty. And just because the simple fact I bought the yarn because not only the colors, but because the colorway is called Pegasus and I love horses. So but there you go. <laughs> I have a couple skeins, uh, single skeins. I have one called Becky and I have one called Rebecca because, <laughs> well, those are my names. But anyways, um, so I had to get one skein, but not like you can do anything with one skein too much, but you know, it was fun to get. What's the yarn? Mandala. Man. Lion Brand Mandala. <clears throat> it's really um, a good, soft, snuggly, kind of cushy, kind of yarn, too. I like it. So, let's see if I can see these stitches and pick them up and refer back to my really cat eaten pattern here that I keep writing my notes all over. So the hood, let's see. Yes, cats really do eat your homework. Just just saying. Oh, Amanda. Oh, oh nice. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Um, so 98. I want to pick up 98. I hope I can see these. I got my reader glasses to help. Let's see if we could do this. Did no world. All right. Wish me luck. Um, let's see. Where are the end stitches? I can see those. Why can't I see them on this side? Oh, they're there. I think. <laughs> well, this is going to be fun. Well, that's a big one. Maybe we'll twist that one. Tighten it up a little. Yes, Mocha, I see you. That's nice. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Let's see. Maybe twist it around. Do I want to just put them all on the needles and then then do the yarn or what? That's the ending. So this would be the start. Yeah, I had it right. Bear with me. It's been a while. <laughs> Lean on the floor once and they never and then never again. Well, my cats are usually pretty good. And right now she's playing with a twisty tie, believe it or not. It's like one of her favorite toys to chew on. Weird. Um, but yeah, yarn is fine. It's the like computer cables. My other one, Coco, loves to chew on cables. And I cannot figure out how to get her to stop doing it. I've had to buy too many replacement power cables. <laughs> Little stinker butt. All right, I think we're going to do it this way. Um, all right. Ninety-eight, huh? What? Okay, 
twist that, it'll tighten it up some. And But tailor to weave in. Hi, Marco. Really? Really? Right there. I'm having a hard enough time seeing it as it is. <laughs> Thank you. Goofball. All right. So that's one. That's the tail. All right. Two. I think there was originally 98 stitches, so if I just pick up all these stitches, I should have 98. You would think, right? sure you could see this very well. Just finding the stitch there. Hmm. I don't know if I like that bump. Well, that could be a design feature, right? <laughs> What's a hood anyways? So it'll be folded over. You still playing with that twisty tie? Goofball. Making lots of noise. Oh, good. Good. Thank you for letting me know. Just pick up one for every stitch here, and then I'll count them, just to confirm the 98. I guess I could have counted them before I picked them up, but eh. It's easier to count them when they're on the needles, right? you're hearing is Mocha playing with her twisty tie. And my phone. I should probably mute that, huh? <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't wait to see it too. I think it'll be really cute. I had to send it to, to the recipient getting the sweater and I'll have to ask her to send me a picture so I can say, see, this is what it looks like. Hot, hot, okay, Mocha, okay, okay. Really? Really, there's my light. You just do you, no, no. Don't rub against the stand with the 
camera. Come on. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Really? Really? Can you not, like, do that? Oh, that was healthy. What the heck was that? You okay there, girl? Jeez. No, that's my eye drops. Leave them alone. Can you leave it alone? Go back to your twisty tie. Alright, nothing like hearing me sitting here argue with my cat. On today's stream, let's argue with the kitty cat. Ha ha ha. That's my coffee. You can't have that. Daddy went and got that for me. Special. No, don't stop playing with the yarn. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. You're gonna go down. Cause you're me. <laughs> Where's the twisty tie? You threw it on the floor. Good place for it. There you go. Play. Oof da. Well, one shoulder done. Half the front, one shoulder. <laughs> True. Yeah, well. <laughs> and she's now on the floor playing with her twisty tie. Maybe I'll count when I get to halfway mark. Halfway through the back. I think I still have a marker there just showing where the halfway point is. Half of 98 would be 49, I think. 45 and 45 is 90. Plus 4. the marker so should be close to 49 then if I count now Check that out, 49. <laughs> Yay. Sometimes I surprise myself. Um, and that's taking up a step, though. I don't think I need to mark this, but I'll just mark it this way.
excuse the sniffing. I got a cold a couple weeks ago and my sinuses just still won't clear up. some chunky yarn and two cable needles and a sock loom to knit socks on. I can't wait. I'm I'm getting it next. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, maybe when I'm done with the sweater I can I might maybe I'll start another pair of socks for myself. I think out of all the pairs of socks I've made, I only got like two for myself. Um okay, maybe 3. Maybe 3. That's right, I did my TARDIS socks. If you know anything about Doctor Who and the TARDIS that he, his, his, his time space machine, for lack of a better way to describe it, um, looks like a blue police box. Um, so the socks are blue, obviously, with white where the windows would be and it says police box on it so I'll have to show those sometime actually they might be in my Ravelry at least a picture there let's see if I can find it in my Ravelry do 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 go back to this go back go back to projects See, here's a pair of socks I made for my niece. Um, here's a pair of socks I made for my aunt. There's a pair of socks I made for my other niece. Um, wait, I didn't want to click that. I wanted to move this over. You're not seeing the whole thing. Okay, let's see. There's a pair of socks I did, and I think I gave them to my daughter. There's the police box, my TARDIS socks. First time doing, um, carrying color work, and well, they're a little snug getting on where the white is. <laughs> I need to get better at doing that. But it was fun. It was a fun project. I know, right? I, I have no idea. People keep asking, oh, Oh, and then since I'm almost done with that pair, then it's like, okay, well, you can have this pair. <laughs> I'll make myself another pair next. <laughs> and then, well, they go get to give them to somebody else. Thank you. Uh, a few weeks back, we went and visited his parents. When I got back, my nose was stuffy. Anyway, found out his father had, oh, no. Well, that's good you didn't get it, but hopefully he recovered well. <clears throat> All right, almost on the home stretch, and Mocha's back. What's up, girl? What? No, you can't lay there. You know that's like my space. I can't. I can't see. I, I can't see. Hello. Yes, that's right. Stick your nose right on mine. Thank you. You're really blocking my light. You know that, right? You want my lap? Is that what you want? You're looking at it. Let me move this, you know, into my way so it's out of your way. Come here. Come here. Come on. Onto the lap. Let's go. That way you're not blocking my light. Okay? You happy? Okay. 
There, as long as you're happy. <laughs> All right. Okay. No. I don't know who those people are. Oh, no. Well, I hope he gets better soon, and I hope that the uh, they, they can get rid of the cancer. That's part of the reason why I spend so much time with my parents. My dad found out in January that he had cancer, and we had to go up there and help him with getting, his, getting him to his treatments and stuff. And how do I get rid of these comments? I don't want to reply. I just want to get rid of. There's got to be a way to remove them. I don't know how. I don't know how to get rid of those comments. I don't want those. I don't care who they are. Anyways, I'll figure it out for next time. I'll look into it. Um, yeah, so his treatments are done and now we're waiting they say you have to wait a hundred hundred days before they can do another PET scan to see if they got it all or not so I'm hoping that both was it your was it your father-in-law I'm terrible at remembering things sometimes So I'm guessing your father-in-law. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully him and, and my dad come back clean when when he's all the sudden done. Hold on. Hey, sweetie. Hey, beautiful. I won't leave that late again. Okay. Okay. I had a whole train of Amish going to church. Oh, fun. I bet that was fun to... Oh, the asshole behind me was honking his nice horn. Nice mouth. Thank you. The guy behind me was honking his horn. I'm like, well... <laughs> you asked me. Good <laughs> luck with that. Well, that's real nice to do, honk your horn when there's horses on the road. Mm -hmm. I mean... Anyways. Okay. Then I saw a shop, stop there, yeah. Okay. I got most of what I needed. Good. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, okay, so possible soon to be father-in-law. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully both fathers, we'll put it that way, um, come out of this good. Sorry about the interruption. My sweetie, my husband, um, just got back from going shopping. That was nice enough, right? I love you, sweetie. <laughs> oh, he's a goofball. Come on. There. Almost. Almost, and then I'll count the last. It should be 49 again. And, well, there goes the skein. He does woodwork. 
So he went and got some more wood and stuff because he's uh, actually building my daughter um, a kind of like a table slash island slash countertop for her apartment. Now, I don't know if there's one there or not. Yeah, there is. For her apartment because she has hardly any counter space and uh, absolutely no drawers believe it or not so he's gonna put drawers in it so she has a place to put like silverware and stuff so all right reach down get the yarn that fell and count Whew. you can hear her purr yeah she's got a loud purr one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a very hot body, because now I'm like really hot. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's twenty. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I'm missing one. Where am I missing one? Okay, that goes there, that goes there. Where did I miss one? Maybe it was in the beginning one. Hmm. Well, if I can't find it, I'll just add an extra one. But I'd like to find it first. I Maybe mean, one stitch it really isn't going to make that much of a difference, but still. Her machine there, yeah. Well, let's see where I missed one. Hmm. Huh. <sighs> Probably shorten this cable. That would be nice. Get a shorter cable. <sighs> yeah, he's. He does some, I, I think he does some great work. He was up by my parents for three weeks to help my dad out. And uh, my mom said, I kind of need a table over here to replace this stand um, to put some of the stuff on that he needed or she needed to help dad, like, because he needed like a feeding tube. So um, Bob made a table in it with a drawer in it and stuff. And I think it turned out pretty cool. Pretty cool. Maybe next time I'll show some pictures, if he lets me. <sighs> yes? You're stomping? My quiet time. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Your husband got time out for at least an hour. Got time out? Why did you get time out? I didn't put you I didn't put you in timeout. <laughs> uh, let's make sure she hooks. Hmm. Where's. I know I have shorter cable somewhere. Well, I'll switch them later. I can't find it. Oh, there's a shorter one. I can use this one. Just gotta switch it out. Shark week. Yes, it's Shark Week. If you're going to turn the volume up, though, can you close the door? Pretty please?
You can watch it on Discovery Plus. I think it's Sharknado's on there. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I got something in my mouth, so I can't really talk at the moment. <laughs> Guess I don't need it in my mouth. Just don't want to lose it. So the hood would be knit flat. Not in the round. I just want a smaller cable to be easier. I don't need such a long cable in here. I have wanted to watch Steve-O get eaten by sharks almost. <laughs> yeah. I guess I could be knitting these as I go, but yeah, I'll do that in a minute. Let me just switch this around.
Okay. Let me go there. Alright, now, since it's flat knitting, Okay, work flat stocking it stitch except do garter for the first and last eight stitches and go 13 inches long. Okay, so the first and last. Hold on one second, I'd be right back. So, this, that's the tail, okay. So I'm gonna to wanna to knit, cause I'm on the purl side, so I'm gonna to wanna to knit, do the garter stitch, cause that's knit every row for the first eight and last stitches. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What this will do is it'll give a garter border around the edge framing, like your face area. And now I want to switch to pearl because the rest of it's just going to be stacking it. Maybe I went too small. Maybe I should have left a bigger cable. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I think it's just going to be tight the very beginning here. <laughs> yeah, I'll play it by ear. We'll see how it goes. Are you back in here, Mocha? Okay. You happy? Hmm? Okay. There goes the purr engine. Yeah, maybe I should have kept the longer cable. <laughs> oh well. I just figured it's a smaller spot.
eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And now knit the last eight. One second, I just got to put some eye drop in my eye. and the mocha. And then just do this basically for 13 inches and then seam up the top of it. And there you go. And it should be done. Weave in the ends. The ends for the hood here. And then I can get it in the mail. Yay! I hope she likes it. So my hope is to be done with it and maybe next Sunday I'll do the seaming of the hood and weave it in the ends and then I can get it in the mail. Okay. 
Okay, now these I want to knit the first eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now purl to the last eight. Really, Mocha? <clears throat> You're a very warm kitty, you know that, right? You could start to see it 
how it's going to be a, an edging here versus the stocking knit. So I think that's all I'm going to do today. Let my eye rest a little bit and I will knit on the rest of the week and hopefully next Sunday I can seam up the hood and then complete it. So thank you for joining me and until next time, knit on. Bye.